Hello everyone, this is Josh, aka The Biscuit Eater, and I want to thank you all for joining me on the sixth episode of my playthrough of Feed the Beast Minecraft Mod Pack Academy. Now, if you're new to this series, I'm doing a basic run-through of this mod pack, as it's designed to walk new players through how to use some of the most common mods that FTB mod packs use. If this is your first time of the series, thank you for joining. You can find a link to the playlist in the description down below. Otherwise, just sit back and relax. In our previous episode, we created ourselves an elevator, Brave the Nether, and there's still a little bit of mining, but we never did get really to Batania. So today, we're going to focus all of our efforts on Batania. And of course, as you can try, you can still tell, I am still feeling quite a bit under the weather. We think it's the full-on flu. Wonderful. Just be glad you can't catch it over the airways, right? But anyways, please do be patient if there are random jump cuts throughout. But without any further ado, try not to think too hard about how to make steel. I'll tell you how in just a moment. Keep your sounds up so you can hear that creeper hissing behind you. And let's cue the intro. All I need is me, myself, from hey. Sometimes I wish I was somebody else. I was somebody else. I go my own way. Don't care what you say. All right, so as you can probably tell, I did actually fix or figure out the obsidian issue. I now have a full set of obsidian tools and uh, we can actually upgrade them even more going forward. But I wanted to kind of give you some clue as to what I did to be able to do so. Uh, because essentially I found out that really the only way to get steel is to find chain mail and smelt it. There may be other reason, ways to do so, but nothing I could find in my online searches really gave me any good information. There seems to be a decided lack thereof. So you really do have to kind of jump to obsidian level. But there are some tricks to do so. Uh, one of the things that I found that is considered the same level as steel um, is pig iron, molten pig iron. So you actually have a... A, a pig iron, because you need diamond level to be able to at least harvest obsidian. Molten pig iron is a alloy, and as you can see it has the mining level diamond. So you could actually create that by alloying, looks like four parts molten iron, one part blood, and two parts clay. So to test that, and we're actually going to do that together here, I'm going to throw clay in there, going to throw blood in there, and I can't throw blood. Oh, that's... That's going to be a problem. So, how would... Well, let's throw the iron and the clay in there. One way I know we can get blood in there is through ourselves which isn't a great thing to do, but let's go ahead and just let stuff melt. We've got clay in there, molten clay in there now. We've got molten iron in there. And let's see what happens. I've actually seen Captain Sparkles do it this way. So let's see. Uh, actually, I think it was Captain Sparkles and Zine both did it this way. So let's see if we can do it ourselves. It may ruin everything. That's okay. If we go and oh, um, and actually no, let's let's keep our armor on just so we have a chance to jump in and out. Yeah, we put blood in there. Okay, that did actually give us blood. Woot. Let's see if that is enough. How much do we have now? We've got, we need 20, okay, we needed 40 millibuckets of blood, 40 millibuckets of blood, we need 72 millibuckets of molten clay, how much do we have of molten clay? I don't know how many millibuckets that is, four ingots. Okay, so we're going to jump back in there and get, just for one more tick, and we'll just keep adding iron and blood until, so, eh, boom. Oh. There we go. Note it changed. Note it changed. Which that usually is an indicator of melting. Molten pig iron. We got one ingot. Iron and clay. Okay, so 
if we were to put more blood in there, we might actually get more molten pig iron, but I'm, I really could care less because we don't actually need it. But yeah, so we would take that, um, let's see here. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and give it a little more just so we can. And we lost both of our seared bricks there, didn't we? Nope, we didn't, thank goodness. And we can make them again. Looks like it doesn't even mind. But let's go ahead. One, two. Doesn't seem to be damaging armor too badly. One, two, three, four. Interesting, you'd think that would actually hurt. There we go. So now okay, now we got four ingots of molten pig iron. So there we are. We got at least that. So this would have allowed us to then create a pig a No, oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. So I just wasted my molten pig iron. Alright, well, you get the basic gist of it at least. So that would have given us the ability to make a a uh, pig iron pickaxe, which would have given us diamond level mining, which would have given us access to obsidian. It's not what I did, however. I, one of the other things that I discovered while doing my searches online is I discovered that, well, there's... How do you make obsidian? You pour water on lava. And these drainages let you put water and lava into your smeltery. What does that give us? Molten obsidian. So I can then take that molten obsidian and pour it into casts for whatever particular part I want. That's what I ended up doing. I actually ended up getting a obsidian. I actually made my obsidian pickaxe via that method. I then went on from there to, in fact, let's see. That was a weird sound. I don't know what that was. And actually, we're gonna pause for just a second because I can fear a co I can feel a coughing fit coming on. So I'll be right back. And I'm back. Thank you very much for your patience there. So what I'm gonna do here is just kind of give you an idea. We poured that obsidian into the cast, and I can hear I've made an obsidian tool rod. I won't be using it. I'm gonna be actually throwing it into my part chest, which I don't use all that much. But that allowed me to get... Oh, I have room for more. Uh, that allowed me to get the obsidian level, which then allowed me to go back into the nether and to the other areas and get some of that additional ore that we were not able to get to last time. That allowed me to get access to cobalt and ardite and the like. So let's go ahead here. So next thing we're going to do is show you some of the additional uh, work that I've done. Went through and reorganized my inventory here, and you'll notice I now have uh, the ability It actually shows me fill level. I have way too much um, cobblestone. Way too much cobblestone. Uh, primarily because, well, there just has been so much. And I've, I've gone ahead and done some upgrades uh, primarily storage upgrade twos, which use iron, and then status upgrade, which has a fill level, which uses redstone c comparators. So I had to make a couple more of those, but you saw me make those earlier. Uh, you do those by actually creating blank templates for, uh, and then adding your upgrade materials to it in the crafting machine. But I figured that's mostly busy work. Um, if you want to see the upgrade template you make a take an upgrade template it's quite literally just a drawer and some sticks and then if you want to make say the uh, storage upgrade to iron level is two iron sticks and an upgrade template so pretty re relatively cheap with as much iron as I'm picking up 
have not done the gold upgrade yet because that does take two gold and I haven't really run into all that much gold. I've gotten more. Diamond is still a rarity. I have found enough, as you see, to get myself a diamond chest plate and diamond boots. I was not able to make myself diamond leggings yet and obsidian actually was a little bit better than, than the bronze I had, but again, once I'm able to get diamond, I will definitely upgrade diamond. Still have to figure out if there are any enchantments that are not vanilla enchantments for armor in this mod pack. Haven't really gotten there yet, but I'm assuming we will soon. Anyway, so we got that taken care of. I upgraded all my chests with the exception of this one, like a diamond upgrade, and I think it has a quest re uh, <coughs> Excuse me, it snuck up on me. A quest reward, but everything else is upgraded to gold because I am needing that because I'm making way too much wood, but that's not a bad thing in my mind. have done some heavy mining and smelting, so we've got cobalt. Cobalt's going to be fun, and that's what I want to use here is I want to upgrade it's Ardite or Cobalt that I wanted. Let's double check. And I have the materials and you. I don't think I have any other as oh, Ardite ingots. Okay. So let's see for materials. I was looking at pig, pig iron last. So tool materials. So we've got Ardite and Cobalt. Ardite is slightly above but Cobalt. So a Cobalt head gives me 780. Mining speed of 12. Attack of 4.1. Currently I am using Obsidian. Where is Obsidian? There we go. Which is... <laughs> Hold on. Be right back. Again, my apologies. It comes up on like quickly. Anyway, so yeah. So 139 is not quite as durable. But mining speed of 7. Attack of 4.2. But I don't use it for attack pur purposes. But uh, the Cobalt gives us 780, so better durability, much better mining speed, attack of 4.1, versus Ardite, which gives us even better durability, but uh, the mining speed's kind of atrocious. And, but it actually... Oh no, this tool mines faster as it wears out, but does less damage. So, yeah, no, I don't like that at all. the handle on the other side or extra so your tool loves stones and, and literally wants to absorb it so if we make our binding out of ardite it will actually it should actually regain some of its durability if we use it to mine stone the other option is manulin which is a alloy of ardite and cobalt which will give us insatiable during combat. Okay, that's just it. during combat you deal more damage, deal more and more damage, but also consume more and more durability. Not so great. Um, mining speed seven. So I still like the cobalt head versus the the uh, ardite. Yeah, the ardite uh, extra. We'll also put that on. Uh, we'll do the ardite extra. On the the plates and then manulin we can do for the rod uh, the rod it get it yeah it goes increased damage to targets full health not so great there but that'll give uh, 250 durability versus 100 for cobalt or obsidian there we go or minus 100 for obsidian so I think I'm still using looks like I'm using what am I using I can't even remember. I may already be using. I'm already using cobalt. That's correct. That's I'm using cobalt currently. So cobalt handles are 100 and lightweight, which is why I changed over. But ardite will give me 250. So that'll give us even further durability. So we're gonna make essentially with manulin first. We're gonna make uh, a tough rod and two regular and three regular rods with manulin. We'll do that first. And I do believe I made a little bit of manulin already. Not much, but hopefully that will be enough. Now let's get the tough tool cast. And let's go in here and let's throw in the block of manulin. And we should be good there. 
And since this looks like it's going to take just a little bit to go through, we're gonna go ahead and skip ahead and have all the parts done. So we'll have the manual in parts, we'll have the Ardite uh, extras, and then the Cobalt um, heads. So, be right back. All right, so that took a little while, but uh, definitely worth it. Went ahead and got my Manulin rods, my Ardite extras, and my Cobalt heads. That's all the Cobalt I have left. I am going to need to do some nether mining to uh, build up my cobalt reserves because cobalt is what I'm going to need now to repair these things. So that's one of the downsides of upgrading your tool. You get better durability, better functionality, but your primary head is what your repairs are based off of. So let's first go ahead and grab ourselves some more obsidian so I can actually repair the tools I have so I don't have to carry over any damage. Don't think I have any damage there. Don't think I have any damage there. All right, so we've got that taken care of. So sword, we'll go ahead and throw that on there. So sword, sword stats right now, as you can see right here, 321 attack, 866. Attack went down just a little bit, but better durability. And actually, yeah, other than the durability, there really is no reason to update that, but that's okay. We'll just we'll deal with it. Oh, wow. No, no, that's, oh, that's because it's a pickaxe set. What am I doing? <laughs> and so then Ardite Handguard. Look at that durability. Loving it, loving it. And then Manual Tool Rod. Wait, why is my durability going down? Oh, because it's... Anyway, I'm losing speed. Oh, yeah, well, we're not going to do that. We're just gonna, we are going to keep... Oh, it's because it's no longer going to be lightweight. But the tool rod, that's just giving us... Cold, what does cold blood give us again? To increase damage to targets of full health. Yeah. Why am I losing durability, though? Manual and tool rod should have greater durability. Why am I losing durability with a manual and tool rod? I wish I could see what's in there. Okay, so it's a cobalt tool rod. Okay, so if we throw in the manual and tool rod, why is my durability going down? Modifier. Is it because I'm losing the modifier? And I'm losing damage too. Interesting. I don't get it. Well, I guess we're not going to add the manulin tool rod. All right, and then obsidian pickaxe. We're gonna go ahead and add the art. So we got that art art biting. Look at that. And then cobalt head. Money speed goes up a little bit. Attack goes down, but that's fine. Cobalt pickaxe, perfect. Here we got our hammer. We're gonna go ahead and and look at that, isn't that just lovely? And then the tool head. Far more durability. This is gonna last quite a while. Excellent. And oh, we need to check to see. Okay. Manual and tool rod. Does that do any what does that do? Again, we're losing, because we lose lightweight, we're losing durability. Why are we losing durability? And we're losing speed. I, yeah, I feel like I've wasted. Hmm. How about with you? If we do the tough rod. Oh, wow. Yeah, that 
was a waste and I don't think I can actually melt down those parts either. That's frustrating. That is really frustrating and there's no way to... Mm. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Live and learn, right? Don't make my mistakes. Don't make manual and tool rods. Apparently. Okay, so cobalt axe head. Cobalt shovel head. So that's all great. And let's see what manulin does to you. Again. Yeah, so manulin was a complete and utter waste of time, and if I'm not mistaken. Yay! These will. Okie dokie. With that in mind, let's see. Can I. I doubt I can melt the obsidian, but we can try. Oh, we can melt the obsidian. Woot! Alright, and I just thought I'd lost my. Okay. Okay, so that actually makes me a little happier. Wooden, obviously, wooden the stone, I can't. I, yeah, not worth the time, but. Alright, so we'll go ahead and pour these puppies out. Since they were waste, and I did not lose the materials, which makes me happy. Which makes me think, did I have any other parts that were just laying around? Bronze tool rod, yes, I did. Just some, some bits and bobbles I've had laying around here. I know that those I can't do. So anyways, this will get us up to date on all the various... Okay, we got six ingots here. Boom, boom, boom. One block of obsidian. Let those... Right, we will let those... Now that those are poured out, we'll go ahead and do you. Boom, boom, boom. Once you're done pouring. Boom, boom, boom. Get that obsidian. So this is what we've got left. And we can throw the bronze tool rod in there. Let that melt down. Definitely need to get pick myself up some more cobalt. But that's up. Next next up I'm gonna show you just a quick update on what I've been doing down mining since you noticed I had all that extra uh, material again didn't get much in the way of diamonds I, they just don't seem to be very common at least in this area but I did quite a bit of mining and there's something really cool I want to show you guys that I found this is something I've never seen before but anyways yeah so I have been clearing things out quite a bit having access to The hammer has opened up avenues for me. You see, know that I, I plug up holes. It's primarily primarily just to make, give me uh, even places to walk along. Basalt just basically means that there's lava underneath, and frankly, I don't want to deal with lava, so I just let it be. Eventually, I will turn that lava into obsidian, although I don't really need obsidian so much now. But uh, some of the irregular stuff you see is just where I forgot to turn. Oh! That is something I don't know if I ever actually showed you. This is something I discovered recently that's really cool. Excavate. Normally, when we excavate, things go a little bit wonky. Actually, things go like this, which can be problematic for obvious reasons. We, we have to worry about light levels. We have to worry about how clean everything is and how easy it is to go about. And actually, let's throw you into my hand here so I can light you all up so okay and normally what I do if I made this, this mistake is I would go into my inventory and uh, fill it up with the parts that I had that were with with with, with the cobble that I had found so I would normally fill it up like so so I could have my nice clean here because I don't need to be fully 
at bedrock. Generally speaking, it's not that much of bedrock. And yes, I know I just buried. That's okay. Anyways, so that's what normally happens when you use the the the, the excavate tool. But by pressing Sorry, hissing. Okay, it's just running water. Okay, so by pressing letter V, excavate shape, one by two, three by three, five by five. So, using a shaped excavate, I could make a tunnel. Really easy. Would make uh, the original, would have made the original, uh, whatchamacallit, the strip mining you saw me do much, much easier. Or, say I want to do 3x3. Three three. We could do like so. Which is what I've been doing. Because I can then go back to shapeless and knock out the items that I see. Or if I really wanted to go far and wide, I could do five by five, like so. Obviously a three by three is gonna be the nicest for me here. Wow, that, durab that extra durability is really nice. But as you can see, I got that. This is, that is an ore that I couldn't find earlier. I have also found a couple more uh, mine shafts and dug them out as well. But this is the cool little thing that I found. This is in fact one of the other mine shafts, shafts I discovered. And uh, if you'd like to see that, let me know in the comments that so I can go back and revisit it. But this thing I found, I, I saw there was a bunch of marble here. So I'm like, oh, let's clear it out, see what's underneath there, because I figured this is a, a standard marble deposit. But no, this is a somewhat rare astral sorcery generation. And what's interesting about this is right here we have essentially an infinite or well I, I, I doubt it's actually infinite but we have a replenishing ore source and it seems to crop up random ores of any sort. Um, I haven't seen anything that I haven't seen in the overworld or the nether but I have seen nether or come through it rarely. I've had a couple cobalt and a couple ardite come through it. Um, doesn't look to be any currently. But all this, and I'm wondering if this is something that can be created or if this is just a natural generation that's the only way to get this particular result. I'm hoping it's something that I can actually create because that would be, well, for obvious reasons, rather cool. But yeah, I ran into this, into this yesterday while doing some, uh, while do, just doing some strip mining here, you know, strip mining out that whole area that you're looking at below, and yeah, it's been really cool. And so far, I have not been able to deplete it. I haven't spent like too long on it. But imagine if you could actually uh, either automate this, or you know, ma imagine a system where you could have this generator. And have a, a system of what you call it. Uh, looking for the word here, pistons pushing out the generated ore for you to just go and and, and strip mine through. Would be a great way to automate, and that, that you know really fits into the methodology of uh, strip mining or of mining that I'm used to on, say, a sky block, where you have or you know customized modded skyblock where you have random ore generators connected to your cobble gens so it would be nice to see if that you know if, if if i can find a way to actually replicate that you know i definitely want to find a i want to find a way to do that so i can then turn around and turn that into something automated so i don't have to do this kind of messy automated uh clearing out so let's show this here so there we go so 
So, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. Just kind of going through and looking for ore deposits to show up. Get quite a bit of extra ores there. And here's my table. I have my spare table with me for when I go nether mining, but I have a spare table down here. Uh, nether mining is an issue quite often, to be perfectly honest. But anyway, so let's go ahead and drop off some of the goodies. We don't need any more, so we know, okay, and we'll go ahead and throw you up here. Oh, it's telling me I'm a little hungry. Let's go ahead and get some food. What do we want to eat? Let's go eat some frog legs. Yeah, um, apparently in mine shafts you will find frogs. And you can cook their legs, because of course you can. Pretty sure that's not normal Minecraft. Pretty sure that's something modded. But that's okay. Anyway, so we'll go ahead and throw these in here to be done later. Platinum, huh? I've, I've not picked up platinum before, so that was something a little new. Alright, so that takes care of that. So next things up, next thing up is we're gonna go ahead and go back to our quest book and check out Batania. So let's go back into Batania. What was our next thing we want to do? We need to make mana steel, mana pearl, and mana diamond. To make a mana diamond, we just needed to drop that into there. So I don't think I have any more mana pearls. I think I used my mana pearl. So I'm just grab a mana pearl, or grab a pearl just in case. And we need for mana. We've got our mana steel there. I think we're good there. So let's go ahead and get ourselves another mana steel, or a mana diamond and a mana, or and a mana pearl. Got it, and got it. Okay, and we've got those. Oh, that opens some stuff up for us. Do we want eight mana? Ah. Pearls, I'm probably a little bit better now able to handle Enderman. Um, part of what happened with Enderman last time is I should, once I saw him, if I wanted to attack him, I should have created the uh, standard Enderman fighter uh, fighting location, which is basically you put yourself under a two block or a three block high uh, ceiling so he can't get in. But let's go ahead and since diamonds seem to be so hard to get, let's go ahead and go for mana diamonds. So next up, mana battery. Mana tablet can be used to carry around mana without a mana spreader and also fuels many items in your inventory that need mana to change or discharge. Charge or discharge a mana tablet, throw it in a mana pool. Activate the pool with a wand of the forest to switch between emptying and filling. Manufacturing Halo. The manufacturing Halo will automatically craft recipes that are set using items in your inventory. Hold the manufacturing Halo in your hand to see the interface appear. Okay, so we can work on that in a little bit. Let's see. Sojourner's Staff. For that, we need a Rune of the Air, Mana Steel Ingot, some Leather, and Rune of the Earth. So let's see. What do we need to make Rune of the Earth? We need one Mana Steel Ingot, Chiseled Stone. Oh, we need Chisel, Block of Coal, a Mushroom. Okay. But Dancing Light. Oh geez, lap is really blocks. Block of mana steel. Wow. Okay, these are getting these are getting pretty heavy. Let's see, rot of lands, dirt, living with twig, and rune of earth. Where did twig get from two living. Okay. That's what we looked at already. How about root of terra from rot of terra from rot of lands? Water bottle, room of water. Oh wow. Okay, so Alright, so we need to make a chisel, which is something that we have I, I've never used chisel mod. I, I'm not really familiar with it, but it is one of the existing 
options here, so. Oh, well, should be able to do that. So let's go ahead and make ourselves a diamond chisel. For that, we're gonna need to go get ourselves another diamond. a diamond chisel and since we had the option for it we might as well make the eye chisel which is redstone and a gold ingot Fancy, square, seared, road, seared, creeper face, triangle seared. Okay, that's interesting. So when you want to get fancy, I guess. That's fine. Alright, so. So what do we need? So we got a chisel now. So what do we need for a rune of earth? We needed stone. Oh, any stone. Any stone. Block of coal. Mushroom. couple mushroom but do I have them out here could have sworn I picked up mushrooms in the nether did I not I may have to go hunting that looks like I'm gonna have to go hunting so we won't do that one. That's okay. That's okay. We want to do a wand. That's that's the big thing here. Um, can do a rune of air. Feather string. Mana powder. How do we get mana powder? Gunpowder into mana. Okay. That I can do. Actually, just about any powder. Let's, yeah, it looks like it's just about any powder into it can be turned into mana powder. So, let's do this. So, or, uh, we'll do the Rune of Earth. Or, no, we can't do the Rune of Earth. Is there anything we can do here? So, Rod of the Lands. Rune of Earth. We need Earth. Need that mushroom. All right, sorry about that. Anyway, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to looking at the basics here. So, so we can be back out here looking at our options. We want to do, let's see, what can we do? What can we do? Mana battery, let's do a mana battery, why not? Mana battery needs eight living rock and a mana diamond, that I can do. Oh yeah, I set this up by the way too. I didn't need nine, that's okay. 
So, bada bing, throw a diamond in there. We now have a mana tablet. And I completed this quest. Black or Lotus, yes. Manufacturing Halo needs an assembly Halo, which is a crafting table, three mana steel ingots, and a mana pearl. That's another one we can do. Um, do we have... I actually, I don't know. That's not a crafting table. Uh, let's go ahead and get ourselves some... Some wood. Alright, so we got that. So, then it wants... What was it again? Manufacturer Halo. We need Assembly Halo, which is... Crafting Station, Pearl, and Three Men of Steel. Don't forget you can do that. Alright, so we got our Assembly Halo. And that'll need a Mana Diamond. So we can throw that there. Our manufacturing halo. Okay, what hat do we want that we don't have yet? Why not? Mana glasses are applied to mana spreaders. Mana lenses are applied to mana spreaders to change how they work. They can do things like make mana burst faster or hold more mana or make it so they explode when they hit a block. Okie dokie. That seems like, uh, I don't know why that would be useful. Why would that be useful? I'm a little confused if I, if I openly admit it, but, okay, let's go ahead and actually charge our mana tablet anyways. Oh, because I have to... Yeah, that's right. I have to change it to output. That's right. So. Not sure how I do that. Ah, okay, that's why. Charging, okay. Just taking his good time with that. There we go. Alright, so we are full, and actually, it's Interesting. Oh, so I can tell it to automate. I get it. Okay. Okay. That actually makes some sense. Interesting. Oh, so I can actually... Or do this. Oh, interesting. Okay, that's actually 
That could be quite useful now that I think of it. Okay, that's cool. But I don't need that right now. But that could be very useful on the fly. All right, let's see what else we can do now. Everything here seems to be... Okay, that's right. So, Rune of Air. What do we need for Rune of Air? White Carpet, which just needs wool. String. Mana Powder. Feather. And Mana Steel. I can do that. Once again, my apologies. That one was a rather bad one. <laughs> um, so, yeah, anyways. Let's go ahead and make ourselves some powder. Mana Powder. There we go. Let's see. So, again, for our Rune of Air. Room of Air. We need... I know we need Mana Steel, so we'll grab that. Mana Steel, Mana Powder, we got that. White Carpet, Feather, and Strength. Excuse me. I don't think I have any White Carpet spare running around. Oh, I do. Wonderful. Means I don't have to make it. Uh, feather. We have feather. And we have string. We have plenty of string. I can actually make string. I've got flaxseed, which gives me string as a byproduct. Now, this is the first time I have done this, so I'm not sure how this will work. But let's actually, I think, if I remember correctly, there was something about here. Runic Altar is used to create runes. Once it's full of mana, okay, throw the items on top of the, on top of the recipe and provide it with mana from a manor, ma manor, manor, mana spreader. Alright, so we will need some more coal, too, because we need to give it... Or actually, okay, let's... One thing at a time, I think... Okay. Let's get ourselves some coal here. So, oh, we have that. We have that wonderful little halo. Let's see. Let's see if we can use that to make this work. So, oh wow, that was quick. Just by putting it into my inventory, it automatically did that. That could be dangerous. That could be dangerous. Oh my gosh. I definitely kind of don't like that. Alright, so let's go ahead and let's move our mana spreaders to point there instead. So we can give you... <clears throat> Here. Okay, so... So to do this, we need, we've got you, we've got you. We've got string, feather, and, oh. Now we need to give it mana. It does not have, why does it say, So let's go ahead and see if we give it some coal. Okay, so yeah, that's not gonna work. We need to give all of these guys. Okay, it says we're good, so throw some a living rock onto it. And Ooh. Drop pop candy. Okay. Anyways, let's move you guys back to here. Put your residual mana into there.
Okay, so, how are we doing for mana on you? Can't tell. That's fine. Alright, so, we were looking at... So, to make our wand, Rod of the Sky, so that was what it is. Root of Air, Living Wood Twig, and a Feather. So we need another Feather. Considering we have never used any... Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just get a... Get a stack of feathers. This is all new stuff to me, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Let's get some living wood. Let's go to our. Okay, we got that. We've got this, and we've got feather. Rod of the skies, what do you do? Absolutely nothing. You do absolutely nothing. Okay, come on. Give me something. Or are you part of something? Horn of the Wild. Okay, Horn of the Wild is at least interesting because Horn of the Wild just basically... Oh, actually, I will show you what Horn of the Wild does. Horn of the Wild can be a blessing or a boon, but it can be funny. So let's go away from here, but still in the light. What a Horn of the Wild can do is break everything, all plant life near you, which is great for when you're trying to clear stuff out. Takes a little bit, but yeah, so. Everything. So, just kind of a nice way to clear out stuff. Problem is, uh, now that I think about it, I'm right near my. Oh, I probably just made a really bad mistake, didn't I? Oh, oh dear. I just. Boofed, I bet you. Let's see. Did I did I boof? Did I boof or was I far enough away? Oh good. I was far enough away. Because yeah, this horn would break these two. So let's not do that, could we? Alright, so we will go ahead and throw you back in here because I don't need you there. Make sure there's nothing here that I Okay, perfect. And actually, I've got all these iron bars that I got from clearing out some stuff out in the outworld there. Alright, so. We got our wand, but what did we need the wand for? Rods allow you to use mana from your inventory to perform certain actions, such as placing cobblestone or dirt, flying through the air, or smelt blocks. What do you do? I guess maybe it's in the Lexica Botanica? Let's find out. I mean, I just made it. Why not know what it actually flipping does? Is my Lexica Botanica here? Actually, I bet you it's out here, isn't it? Because I'm dumb. Well, I'm smart because I would have it near the stuff that actually it impacts. Yeah, there's Lexica Botanica. Put that there so I don't accidentally use you. Alright, so. Basics and mechanics. Okay, so let's see, let's see if I can type to search. Let's try rod. Nope. Not gonna help me there. All right. So let's see. Functional floor, natural apparatus, mystical items. Rod of the skies. 
The Rondo Sky is a magical instrument with the ability to propel one into the air at a fast velocity for the cost of some mana. To do so, one would simply hold it like a bow and watch as their momentum increases. The rod takes a small amount of time to recharge, but during that time it will block any fall damage, keeping the user safe. This rod can be used can be given to a living wood altar. When done so, any players near the avatar will be launched high in the air as if they used rod whenever they jump. The process uses mana from the avatar and can be disabled by applying redstone to it. Interesting. So, oh, we're going to be dumb. We're going to be dumb, folks. Let's be dumb. Why not? So, So it is effective flight. But only like a big jump. Okay, that could be useful though. That could be really useful. Interesting. Okay. So less waste of time after all. Nice. I approve. Okay. What else can we make with the Runa there? Okay, it looks like it looks like it's mainly. Well, we need it for the terror, terror uh, the agglomeration plate anyway. So it's good that we have one, and we can. So we'll go ahead and. That's double check here. So Tear Silk Longration Pit. So Rune of Water. What do we need for Rune of Water? That's yeah, I don't have a fishing rod currently. Why not? Let's go make a fishing rod. One, two, three. One, two. Shoot, I did not grab the bone. Oh, actually, I think I have some bone meal here. Yeah, I got a couple left. Alright, so. Boom. Boom. Oh, excuse me. My gosh. I'm sorry, folks. Any apologies. That one got kind of epic. And I don't know why this doesn't always work. There we go. There we go. Sometimes it doesn't want to work. I'm not entirely sure why that is. Let's do 
ahead and get some coal. Where are you? Did I throw coal? I know I have some left. I... Did I... Oh, that's right. I put stuff away. Which means in my haste, I put some of my coal back in, so... fits today <coughs> I'm gonna call it after this There we go. So, we gotta ruin some water. I'll go ahead and grind up and get the rest of the info needed for the runes and for the for the uh, the next step in that chain. But we're gonna go ahead and uh, wrap up the episode at this point. And uh, apologies for that. Anyways. With all that said and done, it's time to wrap up the episode before I eventually expel my lungs from my throat here. As always, if you like what I'm doing here, please do me a favor. Like or dislike the video. Check, uh, cl Click the subscribe button. Ring the bell for notifications. And leave me a comment or some constructive criticism. If you find notifications aren't coming in to you through YouTube, I do send notices of all my video uploads through my Twitter account at BiscuitEaterYT. As always, I do appreciate you coming along on this journey with me and dealing with my uh, sickness right now. I hope this is as much fun for you as it is for me. But until we meet again, game on, lovelies.